I can't believe this is the last week of 2016. I'm not sure if it's a bad thing or a good thing, but you know, 2016 has not been the best year for me, but like, time flies really fast, you know? Hey guys, it's Daniel, welcome back to another video, and today, I'm gonna be showing you my top six favorite reads in 2016. I've read a lot of books this year, which I'm quite proud of, and a lot of the books are really fat and big, so I'm really, really proud of, and I want to promise myself I would not start a series if I have not finish all of my other series that I'm really interested in. <laughs> I am just not good at keeping promises. I literally started three, four series in this year, but I don't really regret it. They're quite good actually, so. Originally, this was supposed to be top five, but I, I could not do it to myself because there was this one book that I really needed to put it in my list, so I decided to make a top six instead. I know I'm so weak, I'm so stupid. I want to list all of my favorite reads this year, but like now, I'm gonna make it really competitive. I'm gonna make this book work for me. And so these are some top six favorite books reads in 2016. Okay, my sixth favorite read in 2016 might be a little bit of shocker because I am not a huge fan in contemporary and romance but this book was really good I have no idea why and it is P.S. I still love you by Lara G. Wait no that's a character by Jenny Han. Um, P.S. I still love you by Jenny Han. This is a sequel to the first book which is P.S. I still love you. Wait no messing this up to all the boys I've loved before which is the first book and it's the second book which I enjoy a lot. I don't know I just really like this book so much I love the drama I love the romance in this book although this book the ending was not the best as in there's a lot of things that was that was unresolved but i'm so glad that it's not a duology anymore it's becoming a trilogy the third book is coming out next year it's i'm pretty sure it's always and forever lara jean that's the title and i can't wait because some things were just not resolved well but i really love this book because the drama was great my favorite shipping which is peter and lara Whew, they had they had they, they went to a lot of shit together in this book. I really really enjoy it I absolutely recommend it if you like, you know, like silly romance contemporary book I this is like typical high school I just really enjoy it a lot and you should definitely pick it up Okay, the fifth book in this list is actually a recent read I think I read this last month or last two months and I absolutely enjoy it I did not expect to love this book so much and it is more happy than not by Adam Silvera I have a full-on book review on my channel. I will leave a link down below and also up here this book was phenomenal. I really love the concept of this book. I love the Lithia project, which is a concept scientific thing that is in this book. It was so beautiful. I've never read LGBT book and it was so good. Adam Silver did a great job and I love his writing style. It's so, so cussing. There's a lot of bad words which I really enjoy because I feel like I could relate because I see a lot of bad words and it's on a teenager's perspective which I enjoy because I'm a teenager also. So it's like, it makes me feel relatable. Although I can't really relate to most of the topics because I won't understand the feeling of being a gay person because this one just deals a lot of problems, a lot of heartbreaking things but the ending was not perfect as in that it wasn't a happy ending but it was a perfect ending which I absolutely enjoyed and you should check out my full review it's non-spoiler and also spoiler just like two sections you guys just just check it out so enough of the contemporary and all of the romance book now it's time to dive in the fantasy book which is on a fourth place I actually just finished reading this yesterday today is like 22nd or 23rd of December and I read it yesterday which is 22nd I think that book is six of crows by Lee Bardugo oh my lord I love this book this book is so good special shout out to Audra my friend who bought me this book we did like a book book exchange thingy I bought I buy her one book and she bought me one book anyway oh my god so this book follows like six misfits who are like different and all the characters in this book are quite different they have their own thing going on but then because of one goal they could they could literally sort out their differences and they could work together for their one goal and I just love the adventure it was so good if you love high fantasy this is such a great read there's a lot of word I don't understand because it's a high fantasy I think it might have something to do with the Grisha trilogy um because you know I did not read the Grisha trilogy I think I want to now because Lee Bardugo made a spectacular job on doing this book and you know what I think I might give a shot for the Grisha trilogy but I want to read Crooked Kingdom first because I cannot wait but I think I'm gonna distance my myself so that I have more time to process everything and take this series slow because I do not want it to end because Crooked Kingdom is the second book and also the last book because this is a duology but it's so good the main character was amazing <sighs> there's six main characters which I enjoy so much but it's so good oh I, I don't know what to say definitely a great read now for the third second and first place on this list which was quite hard for me and the third book for this video is Tales from the Shadowhunter Academy am, am, am I saying it right by Cassandra Clare, Sarah Reese Brennan, Maureen Johnson and Robin 
Westerman, Robin Westerman. I, I'm pretty sure I read this and I'm not sure, I think February or, or March, I believe, because I read this on ebook format because they, Cassandra Clare was releasing all the chapters at that time on ebook form and there wasn't there wasn't any physical copy at the moment and now since the physical copy just came out in november i have to have the physical copy so i bought it and i think i'm gonna reread this book on physical format because oh, the stories the short stories were so good oh my god if you read the more instruments and the inferno devices my fandom heart my poor weak soul oh my god this book and the last chapter if you've read this you know the last chapter what happened to a certain character which i hate and in simon's last <laughs> oh my god this book was so good although i recommend you read this first before lady midnight because lady midnight kind of spoils everything through the previous series but this book is so good you have to read it it's so good and it's so fat it's really fat guys i'm gonna i'm not gonna lie definitely a recommend a must read if you are a shadow hunter fan you have to read this first before lady midnight second place for this list i i don't think any of you are shocked if you have been following my channel for the past year I have a feeling you guys know this will be on this list because I talked about it to my, some of my Indonesian booktube friends because I love this book. I talked to Maggie, which is one of my Indonesian booktube friends, and she read this book too, and we love it. And the second place goes to An Ember in the Ashes by Sabah Tahir. I don't know what's wrong with me, but high fantasy was my year. Literally, 2016 was a high fantasy read for me, and I don't read a lot of high fantasy. I've never read actually, and it was so good. I love it so much. I love the world. I love how this is such an empire kind of era, you know. And I love the writing style. I love the mystery. I love the fantasy aspect of this. I have not read the second book also because I want to distance myself. I wanted to give myself some time to you know evaluate and like let it sink in my head so crooked kingdom and also second book was a, to a torch against the night i cannot wait to read both of those uh second book sequels cannot wait it was so good although i am late to the party but i believe a lot of you can agree this is such a great read and i am so excited for the second book now for the number one favorite book once again if you follow my channel you watch my videos you know who is my favorite author right now i'm gonna give you guys few seconds to comment down below who do you think or what book do you think or which author do you think is my favorite has my favorite book or you know what I mean did you guessed it did you guessed it no okay okay time's up first number one favorite reads for this year is pum -pum -pum. oh my god lady midnight by Cassandra Clare holy crap look at that hair but yes lady midnight by Cassandra Clare I'm really shocked if you followed my channel if you subscribe and watch my videos and did not guess it was Lady Midnight I'm so disappointed in all of you Just kidding Lady Midnight Oh, oh my god Oh my god This book was so good Oh my god My feels and the ending And everyone from this I oh, mm. So good I can't even form words to this to express how good it is if you want to read tmi the mortal instruments and the infernal devices do not read this one because this will spoil the living <laughs> out of you for those series you have to read them first because in this book there's a lot of there's a lot of recurring characters and also they t they kind of tell us what happened in previous series and stuff and also read this first before you read this because let's just say in one of the stories there was a mystery about a certain person 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 and in this book it revealed the mystery in this book which <laughs> was so good holy damn holy damn bow down my queen cassandra claire yes cassandra claire is my favorite author i know that's like so typical book lover but <laughs> ew i love her book her books are phenomenal books are amazing and i cannot you have to read this but read but like read tid and tmi but yeah that was all for my top six favorite books in 2016 it's been a great reading year for me to be honest i've read a lot of great books this year and also i want to mention some of the great books i've read so it's kind of like this honorable mention video because you know like <laughs> i'm a freaking award show <laughs> but some of my other favorite reads are like the court of thorns and roses and also trials of apollo which i enjoyed so much magnus chase oh so many great books i read this year and i'm so happy and that's all for this video i hope you enjoyed don't forget to give it a thumbs up if you enjoyed this video comment down below if what are your favorite reads for 2016 or, or did you see any of your favorites in my video don't forget to subscribe because you'll be helping me a lot and also press that little bell button down there if you want to see any of book related content every monday which i I post and follow me on all of my social medias which i will leave down below and also at the end of the video and i'll see you next time on my next video bye bye